Hey Line High folks, it's Lev. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I use him pronouns. My hair has definitely grown out, even a little bit. It's been like a week since I got my hair cut, and it's grown out a little bit, but that's alright. Um, I don't think we've gone into lockdown anytime soon, so if I need a haircut, I'll just go get one. Um, today's video, the second video I'm filming today, I want to talk about, I want to talk about your value as a person and how people treating you like rubbish does not define who you are or your self-worth let's face it we live in a world where judgment prevails there's always judgment prejudice discrimination bullying harassment you know there's domestic violence that happens family violence people abusing other people just a lot of poor treatment from one person to another person. Of course, there's also relationship cheating. That's that's the thing that actually brought me to film this video. That I did that that too. That's also included in this treating treating people like rubbish category. I should also say that the list I said before is not an exhaustive list. I was like, there's so many things and I cannot possibly cover everything or list everything as an example. So that's not an exhaustive list whatsoever. I guess specifically in this video, I'm referring to being cheated on. I should just title this video like for those of you who have been cheated on or something along those lines. Oh shoot, I want to do that, I want to do that. So the first thing I want to say is that it's not a reflection of who you are, but more so the person who cheated on you. Especially, I guess it's for me, it stings more because we had a very close emotional connection and bond, and there was a lot of trust between us. And then once the cheating happened, all of that went out the window, and... I'm just, it was like deep sense of betrayal and I learned something recently called post-betrayal syndrome. You can look it up, it's very interesting and I think that's what I've been experiencing for the past however, six months um, since the whole thing happened. But yeah, it is not your fault and it's not a reflection of who you are or your self-worth, like, like your self-worth doesn't automatically go down or deteriorate or anything like that because you have been cheated on. Second thing is that it does sting. It stings very deeply, especially. Another thing about me is that I'm a highly sensitive person and I feel things emotionally and psychologically very, very deeply. And that's why healing for me has taken a while and that's okay. It stings and it's and you can feel enraged, you know, enraged, frustrated, angry, I'm just repeating myself, I know, irritated, sad, confused, all of these things. It's okay to feel all these things because especially if it's, if it's someone you really trusted and if it's your first relationship, like me, boy, it stings like 10 times more because <laughs> it's like, we were so good, what happened, sort of thing. Well, that's how, what happened for me. But basically, it's okay to feel this emotion and it's okay to let it all out and you don't have to pent it up or bo bottle all of it up. It's very human to feel this way and it is okay to feel this way and it is okay to express yourself in a way that you feel most comfortable with to help you process these emotions and what's actually going on. I touched on this in the first point, but it's not your fault and the person, your partner, the person who cheated on you, chose to do so, even for whatever reason it might be, the person who cheated on you chose to cheat on you. It's a choice. And the consequences of the choice the person made does not lie in you. Another thing is that you might be feeling like you're not good enough, that's why, or I'm not good enough, I'm not doing something right, there's something wrong with me, that's why the person chose to cheat on me. 
it's very natural to feel this way and I did I felt this way too and it's okay to feel this way and you know as, as same with the previous point about emotion it's okay to feel this way and allow yourself to feel it and express it but I think it's also important to acknowledge that while we may be feeling this way it's not true it's like we can feel something but also recognize that this is not this is not true and what is truth and what I'm feeling are in conflict with each other it's not a reflection of your self-worth and your value as a person if for example if the relationship was going downhill or the person your partner felt like there was something lacking or that things wouldn't have worked out or something like that a truthful and honest partner would talk to you about it and not cheat on you like they will talk to you about it and they'll probably lead to some mutual agreement to a split or something like that that's yeah and then after that they can do do whatever they can go do whatever they want like that's to me isn't cheating but if the person just doesn't talk to you about it or talk to me about it and just decides to go off and do things with other another person yeah it's not a reflection of you or me I also acknowledge that it can be very challenging to break out of the cycle of feeling like we're not good enough once when someone treats us like garbage which will link to the point of what I made at the start of the video about how feeling people treating us like garbage doesn't dictate our self-worth so yeah it's very it can be challenging because if our brain is automatic brain and nervous system is wired to think and feel that we are not good enough when someone treats us like garbage it can be it can be hard to truly believe that this does not dictate our self-worth and that and that it's like a cycle we're stuck in so if evidence has reinforced that okay someone treats me like garbage I'm not good enough that's why people treat me like garbage I'm not good enough that's why people treat me like garbage it just goes like this non-stop if I guess for a portion or a large period of life or our entire life that this thing this cycle has been reinforced by evidence that evidence through experiences stories we've heard things we've been told whatever it might be yeah it can be hard to break out of the cycle because that's our normal and breaking out of default normal and going against the grain is not easy it's like trying to swim uphill i mean upstream when the river's going downstream full force trying to swim in the opposite direction that's what it's like but it's not impossible and it takes work just put in a little bit of work every day start breaking the cycle and down the line i am confident very confident that you can break out of the cycle and for me personally i don't recommend jumping straight into a new relationship um after you've been cheated on or yeah this hurt that's lingering i don't recommend jumping into another relationship because as I mentioned earlier, it's a distraction and doing things to distract us can, I guess, can be good in the short term because we don't have to deal with problems and sit with discomfort. Actually, that was, that was in the other video. But the point I made in the other video is that the more, the longer we run from it, I guess the stronger it will come back and it will always come back to bite us. Like we cannot run from things forever and there will have to be a point in time where we have to confronted because it'll just catch up to us we can't keep running forever so i don't recommend jumping into a new relationship right away but instead use this time alone to process emotions and gain the healing wisdom that comes from healing because for me personally if i jump immediately into a new relationship because i don't want to feel pain and i just want to rebound or whatever it is it's great in the short term. I mean, I get this high and then I don't feel sad because all my happiness is coming from this other person that I've 
rebounding from, I will just feel shit in the long term. And once I'm alone and not with the person, or yeah, when I'm apart from the person, I'll just feel like absolute shit because I haven't healed from it properly and I haven't given myself enough time, time and space to heal from it properly without with minimal distraction. Another point is that you deserve to be treated better than that. I deserve to be treated better than this. It's like Shawn Mendes, Shawn Mendes song, like you can, you deserve to be treated better than this. For me, I, I see the act of cheating on your partner very, to be very low. Um, it's very low and it's not, it's not a good look. Also remember, like it might be very natural also to question things and be like what did I do to deserve this I'm such a good person uh, I treat people so nicely and all I get in return is being treated like absolute garbage and the world is unfair and stuff like that it's it can be very natural to start questioning too and that's also okay just allow yourself to experience it and just witness it to be like this is what i'm feeling right now these are the thoughts and questions that are coming up for me right now and that's okay i'm still trying to figure out i'm just trying to process all of this just allow yourself to experience it and witness it it's okay another thing i've done that i found very helpful is to sort of flip the perspective like i didn't do anything to deserve this and i don't deserve this but it and it's shit it's a shitty situation that's happened and it's out of my control and the consequences of this person cheating on me cannot be undone but what this incident has also helped me realize is that it's it's really solidified in my head that i do deserve to be treated better than this and that i'm not gonna settle for this and i'm not gonna I'm not okay with this. It's taught me that I'm not okay with this and I deserve to be treated better than this and that this incident does not define who I am as a person and it does not define my self-worth. And I also see this as an opportunity to become a better version of me. Like shit, this shit has happened. This shit has happened to me and it's out of my control. But I'm taking this and using hurt, pain, anger, frustration, sadness, confusion. I'm using all of this as fuel to become a better version of me, a more mature version of me, psychologically and emotionally mature, more resilient person, a more resilient person, a more resilient version of me, a more like developmental fortitude, knowing how to bounce back from stress and knowing how to adapt to shit that's been thrown at me un without without any warning knowing how to deal with being blindsided and knowing how to deal with knowing how to deal with missing someone who is not healthy to have in my life the last thing I want to say is that there are people out there even though you may you may not have these people in your life right now there are people out there who genuinely care who genuinely care about you and will treat you the way you treat other people and there will be people out there who reciprocate the kindness the love the care there will be people out there who reciprocate what you have given to the world so far everything you have given to the world so far there are people out there who reciprocate that back to you and that's something i've been learning in the last six months thanks for watching folks and i will see you in the next video